Okay, so I am in the kitchen as you can see. I'm just sort of like bending down because even though I put you on my little mini tripod, um, it's still kind of low, so I'm bending down. But today I am going to try to make some sort of use out of my aloe vera plant because this little, I think I overwatered it, so this little stalk or arm fell off. And so I'm gonna just cut it open and try to mix together the gel that's inside of it and make like a homemade aloe vera gel, but I kind of want to mix it with shea butter. The problem is I don't have any preservatives, so I don't think I'll be able to keep this for very long, like maybe a few days in the fridge or something. So I'm gonna try to like just make a small amount and this is like a small little leaf. So hopefully just a small amount and I can like use it up within a few days because since it's fresh aloe vera gel with no preservatives, it's not gonna last very long I think from the research that I did. And so I boiled some water in a kettle and um, if you can see this, Oops, oh my gosh, <laughs> the camera. Let me just, okay. If you can see this, I, oh, this bowl is really hot. Okay, so I put some shea butter. I have this 100%, um, what's it called? Shea butter, pure shea butter. And so I put it inside a glass bowl and then I put the boiled water from the kettle around the outside to sort of like, let the shea butter melt inside the glass so it's currently melting pretty well and then i have a cutting board i'm gonna try to slice open the aloe vera here so yeah let's see if i can do that mm. Get my okay. So I guess I'll cut off this area because it's, I don't know, it's a little bit, I don't know if it's like got toxin or something at the end here. Okay, so I'm going to try to slice it like this way I think. Okay, it still needs to be sliced a little bit more. Oh. So yeah, I saw like videos about shea low butter, which is like shea and aloe together. And since I have both those things, I kind of wanted to do that. But I'm not sure if I want to blend the aloe in a blender because I don't, obviously I don't have a lot of amount. I don't have a lot of aloe. So yeah, I think maybe I'll just put it into another, or maybe, maybe I might take the glass out now since the shea butter is like nearly melted. Maybe I'll just put that glass here and then I'll just put the gel into this glass right here, if it will get out of my fingers. Okay, I mean, I don't know if this is gonna work. I don't know if the temperature is gonna alter the aloe vera, but I don't know. Cause I tried to find videos of people doing this, but a lot of people don't use fresh aloe for their aloe shea butter. So yeah. Okay, so let me just sort of open this I'm gonna try to use a spoon and like just scrape off the gel. Yes, I am filming. Okay, yeah, I think I can just scrape it off like this. Oh, no, wait. 
Okay. <laughs> this is a fail. No, like this. Okay, I'll just use my nails. Sorry if my shadow is blocking the light, but from this side it's just sort of... Okay, I'm just gonna put this into the same glass as the other. I think I'm gonna try to like whisk it. I don't know if that's like proper, but okay. I don't know. I have like this tendency to scratch my skin. So like, I'm just gonna put this on my neck here because I always scratch my neck and then it makes it all have like a rash and stuff so I'm just gonna okay rid my hands of it by putting on my neck slimy goo okay so here maybe I will whisk it I don't know or should I don't know what to do with it maybe I'll whisk it I don't know I don't even know if the little whisk fits inside there my whisk is kind of too big for this little jar Of like hitting it because I don't really know. The gel part, like the solidness, is kind of still there because I wanted to kind of like make it smoother into almost like a cream or a gel or like a solid smooth consistency not a solid consistency but like yeah I don't know maybe this is the best it's gonna get because I don't have enough material to blend this in a blender obviously this is just a tiny amount of both shea and aloe. So yeah. Well, it kind of looks like egg yolk, <laughs> if you can tell. So, I don't know, I mean, it still feels kind of hot. So it's kind of like this. It's kind of like butter or something, if you can see it on my finger. try putting this on my skin. Oh, it actually... Wow. It's like an oily aloe gel. Kind of like that. But yeah. So. I'll probably just refrigerate this or something. Oh, the gel's turning red. Um, I think that's a thing that happens to aloe gel. So it's gonna turn pink and red and stuff which is normal, because when it oxidizes, apparently it does that. I don't know if you can see, but like some of it is red. So, hmm, I don't know. It's still got lots of like solid chunks in it, like. So I don't know if this is a success, but it is a try. <laughs> Um, so yeah, I mean, maybe if I had a smaller whisk, I would be able to kind of like, get the solid parts more smooth, but it's not really doing that. So anyway, I... I'm just gonna be putting this, I guess, onto, it's like a gel, because I have like, really, um, scratched up skin on my neck. When I'm anxious, I scratch myself. So, oh yeah. I, what I also wanted to do was I wanted to like add sugar to it and make like a lip scrub because my lips are always dry, but then I thought, well, if I can't keep it for like a long time, then 
I don't know if I'll be able to, because it's not like I'm gonna scrub my lips all the time, constantly. But yeah, I feel like this is kind of a success. I mean, it is usable right now. It feels like a soft little butter. It's like a melted margarine that you're rubbing on your skin and it feels like it does absorb into your skin pretty well. So I'm just gonna put this around my neck. Like the back of my neck I scratched too. I've also seen that like Shea Lo butter, which is Shea and Aloe, is good for like your scalp as like a hair mask and I do have a really like dry scalp as you as you know so maybe in the future I will put it on my scalp I don't know yet but so far I think this is good I mean it's kind of like Vaseline to be honest it's like this is really cool I like it I like greasy um stuff like Vaseline so this is kind of cool yeah I like it I will probably just put this on throughout the day whenever I feel like it's dry so yeah I'm sorry for this bad lighting it's like <laughs> my kitchen overhead light so yeah. That's it for today's video. If you have an aloe plant and raw shea butter, you can also try this. Yeah. Bye. Okay, quick update. I know I always do this. I always say bye and then I'm like, wait wait I'm back but you know half an hour has passed it's absorbed really well into my skin and I also put it onto my arms and my legs and wow the shea and the aloe the concoction I made it works really well I love it it like really made it so soft and at first it does make your skin if your skin already has a rash on it a little itchy so it does make it itchy at first but then after you leave it for a while and hopefully try not to scratch, although I scratch a lot. Ugh. I need to quit that habit. But hopefully just don't scratch it, don't touch it. It does actually go into your skin and like melt into your skin and I really like the effect. Wow, I'm really happy and impressed. I think I might even put this on my face tonight. So there you have it. This is a good recipe. <laughs> okay, bye! Should I do this thing that YouTubers do like this? Pachoo! Pachoo! Sorry, one last update. If you do decide to make this concoction, I wouldn't recommend putting it into the fridge because the shea butter will solidify again. So just try to use it up right away. That's it. Bye!